Hey kids, let's go and see what Tango Spice has on the tube. Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's Joe here from Tango Spice Company on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here on Long Island. The other day I was cruising around the internet looking at different cooking blogs and baking blogs and grilling blogs, and I stopped by the King Arthur Flower blog and they had a post there about a grilled asparagus stromboli. It looks so good, there's no way I could not make it. So I went out this morning, got some uh, asparagus, picked up some onion, and uh, actually I even stopped by a yard sale and picked up a grill for three bucks. So we're going to use my $3 grill, brand new purchase, and grill up some asparagus and onions, and then go make some dough, and make a nice stromboli today. Sounds like a good deal. Make a really, really nice lunch. So thanks for joining me. Let's get cooking. The ingredients for the stromboli filling are really simple. We use an onion, a bunch of nice asparagus, a little bit of butter in a pan, some minced garlic, Going to use some orange peel for a little bit different flavor, and of course, it's a little bit of salt and pepper. A couple of simple ingredients, and this is really, really going to be good. So let's get commenced to grilling. This is my new three-dollar grill. I bought this thing this morning at a yard sale. I think it was like brand new, just about. I don't know how many burgers you cooked on it. But it seems like a pretty good little grill for me for three bucks. So let's see how it cooks a few vegetables. Okay, so right now the butter is starting to get a little bit brown. This is about perfect. But now this grill is a little smaller than the ones I'm used to working on, so I'm going to deal with this. I have all the coals over here, a little bit of indirect heat over here, so if they get too crispy, I'll move them over there. It's like that grill cam on Food Network. Now if I would have had a bigger grill, like I usually use, I would have cooked the asparagus and the onions at the same time. I'm just going to take these off, make room for the onions, and get those cooked up. So okay, the onions are just about done caramelizing on the grill. The asparagus were finished a little while ago, they're on a plate, they're all covered up with foil. So I'm going to finish up the onions, put them on a plate, go on upstairs, because uh, i got to make a pizza dough, so we'll whip that up. And after it rises, we'll roll that thing up and bake it. Well, we're back inside now with the grilled vegetables. And uh, we made a dough earlier. It's been rising for about a half hour. Um, there's plenty of people who make better dough than I do for pizza crust and strombolis and stuff. So uh, YouTube, check it out. But uh, So I'm just going to flatten this out, spread the ingredients on it, and roll it up. The asparagus and the onions. I'm going to spray a little of this garlic juice that I found that's uh, an Italian place over there in Rocky Point, New York. And uh, see how that goes with it. Yeah, it gives the whole house a nice garlic aroma. Mozzarella cheese. Now before we put the vegetables on, I'm going to put some uh, Italian sprinkle on this. This is something we've been working on here, trying to see if we can perfect it. But if you have any uh, pizza sprinkle, salad sprinkle, or whatever kind of Italian seasonings you have, sprinkle that on there first. I'm going to put the onions on first. Now you can use whatever kind of vegetables you want. Put some artichoke hearts in there. Roasted red bell peppers. Put some jalapenos in there. Whatever you think is going to be good. Next we put on the asparagus. Now I'm going to line these up nice and neat just so when you cut them you're going to get a piece of asparagus in every slice. I mean I have plenty. I made plenty of this. Now that I'm thinking about it I really can't help but put just a few pieces of pepper jack cheese on here. 
just for a little bit more flavor. Like a little surprise bite. So here you are folks, we uh, spent some time grilling some asparagus and grilling some onions with some garlic and butter and orange peel, then we rolled them in some fresh pizza dough that we made into a stromboli, nothing better, I'll tell you what, check this out, nice and warm, fresh from the oven, very nice, I'll tell you what, you can smell the garlic, it's fantastic, so uh, a very simple recipe as a matter of fact. So the best thing would be just to, uh, there's going to be the links to the recipe and stuff. It used to be the sidebar, now it's the bottom bar. Uh, hop on over to King Arthur Blog. Check out their asparagus grilled stromboli. I'll have as many recipes as I can. Check out my link to tangospice.com. And, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. As usual, we have to bite into this goodness. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, you got to make this. The charcoal goodness, asparagus, onions, a little bit of spice, the cheese, and fresh made dough. If you can't make some dough, run down to your pizza place and say, dude, I need some dough. He'll give you dough if you give him some dough. So uh, thank you all for watching. For some grilled asparagus stromboli, greetings from New York, greetings from Long Island. Have an awesome time. Thank you for joining us here on tangospice.com for grilled asparagus strombolis. You know what? I even think that I can get Tammy Humorous to take a bite of this. Or two or three bites. Have a whole piece. This is that good. You want it for lunch. Take an 18 mile run. Have one of these. You're good to go. Oh, and Hank. Talk to you soon, Hank. Hope you make this. Later.